Hello, welcome back to Richmond. I'm Chris. In this video, and I'll show you how I converted my turntable to DCC. Keep watching. I have noticed that a lot of you haven't subscribed to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you do. Click on that little red watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. And also click on the bell icon to get your notifications when I've uploaded a new video. Now you see in front of you the underneath of my turntable and the excellent Locomotec turntable motor kit which is this bad boy here. Now what we're going to do is take these motor power feeds and connect them via a locomotive decoder to the track power feeds which are here. Now all we're doing is hardwiring a locomotive decoder in. It's no different to hardwiring uh, a non-DCC ready locomotive, except obviously we're upside down under the layout. So we'll crack on with it and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll cut these wires here and we'll also unscrew these two wires just here just so these are going to be our, where our power feeds um, join up so what we'll do is I think we'll tin those and we'll tin them together pardon me so you see what I've done is I've cut the wires from the motor to um, the old Hornby controller that was my uh, turntable controller. I've also disconnected the track bus feed to the turntable deck. And what we're going to do is we're going to get two wires screwed into there, and then these two wires here will go into the track feed side of the decoder. And these two wires here will go to the loco motor feed of the decoder. Strip these wires. There we are. And I could use a chop block, but unfortunately, the wire on the decoders is really, really thin. Red and black to track, I believe, is the uh, is the adage with DCC decoders. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly tin these uh, wires. There we go. So the reason we are changing the turntable to DCC is at the moment um, it, the turntable is controlled by an old Hornby train set controller, which isn't perfect. In fact, it's far from it. Um, I just want a little bit more sort of precise control of the turntable and uh, it was all fine when I was doing analog control of like the points and signals and stuff but now I changed over to DCC for everything it sort of makes sense okay so this is a bit rough I know it uh, needs must and all that so we're gonna, we're gonna try and solder this joint here in midair it may or may not work oops should be a decent solder joint hopefully that'll do another piece of heat shrink it probably would have been better with the motor off the turntable but um, that's not really possible because it's already uh, in situ there we go It's fun playing with solder in midair. There we go. That should be a half decent joint. Yep, that's good enough for me. I'll just release the helping hands. It's all insulated and, and good. So we're set it to address 8888. 
just something that I very much doubt a loco will end up having the same address. <coughs> Excuse me, so we'll just undo this. Yep, and while we're here, we'll get some electrical tape just to wrap round the 8 pin socket. Just sort of blank it off a bit. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll take the red to the red on the track feed and just twist those wires together or attempt to twist them together. So this is all a little on the rough side, so apologies if you're expecting a professional job. That's all wired in. Let's have a look now to see if it works. So if we just select 8888 and we'll see now Yeah, that works. It's a little bit jerky, but I think let's just see. Yeah. Not bad. Just a little bit more. I think that's about right. What we'll do is we'll just test it with my lovely little J72. Let's put that on the track there. That track still has power. Right to rest in the center of the turntable to distribute the weight. It's a bit on the jerky side, but yeah, it kind of works. And if we set the uh, control to about 38%, it actually, uh, yeah, runs quite nicely. So it means I can ditch the old Hornby train set controller now. That works lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. Just got to learn a bit of fine control. Oh, I'd say that was about perfect. And then slowly I wasn't quite there, was I? I was like literally about a millimeter off. But with practice, I could probably get a lot better and uh, you know, get that down to a fine art. But there you go, so that's the turntable done.